All right, hey guys, welcome back to part 11 of our continuing Let's Play European Universalis 4 series as Brandenburg. I am all, uh, I, if one of these times I'll get this right, I, as always, am Andor. Uh And in the last video, we had a pretty abrupt cut because the game just randomly crashed on me. So we're still in, I don't think we lost very much, if any, uh, any time. And uh, if I remember correctly, England is having some serious issues. Um, if I remember correctly, we had this uh, little eight stack of Protestant zealots pop, and we're going to kind of let them do their thing for a bit. Um, we're not planning on doing anything crazy in the short term, and we're going to see if uh, if maybe they will switch us over. Uh, so we'll see what happens. The nationalist revolts. We'll put down any nationalist revolts, but we'll keep up the... Ah, uh, they're sieging away over there. Ah, uh, but we'll we'll let the religious volts go. Uh, lost trade to be... Yeah. Hemi is currently at war with Trier and losing. Um, purge of Bohemian heresy. I feel like maybe I should help out Bohemia. Ugh, I need to switch to Protestant. Very few people are actually switching in this, uh playthrough. It's not a whole, I mean, England, obviously, and, uh, Sweden seems to have gone. Well, what's left of Sweden, anyway. The, has gone Protestant, and it'd be interesting if Denmark were to go. Uh, that would reshuffle the alliances. Uh, but not a whole lot of mainland Europe switching over. See what happens, so. Taking pots, then. You can in, ooh, what's this? Oh, balls. Um, let's lose the prestige. I want to keep my points. Uh, we have 41 influence. We haven't spent on this guy. Well, we're not going to spend any more right now. Relations. Uh, 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 no, not really anything I want to do. And then these two things we will. Uh, I don't really concern myself with this. Celestia declared war on Bohemia. I feel like maybe I should declare war on Bohemia. Member of the Empire, if you are allied with the Empire. So, yes. Oh! Okay, so Bohemia called in Denmark. Uh, Austria obviously went to the aid of Celestia here. Interesting. And this is what? Military access from Celestia? Yeah, sure. Could potentially vassalize those guys. Uh, how are we doing as far as Diplo relations? We are one under our cap. Uh, we'll be two under as soon as this stupid royal marriage with Wania goes away. They hate us, they have us rivaled. Uh, we could potentially make friends with Poland again. Ooh. Fantastic. They would take a royal marriage. They're a little ways away. I have a lot of, oh, they have a lot of great power allies. So, I don't know. Potentials. Luckily, this war has nothing to do with us, and we can stay out of it. Uh, taking control of Potsdam, that's fine. We lost Potsdam, expected. Hemia is getting wrecked right now. Uh, let's see, these guys. Hanover, let's see. Um, they enforce their man's Brandenburg is heretic tolerance. So just, oh. Accept their demand, I'll still lose my stability and prestige. Oh, okay, well. Never mind, I thought they changed the state religion, but apparently that's not the case. Crank up this, and we'll go fight them. Protestants. But we had very little prestige going into that. Probably should have waited a month. Alright, we're still going to win. Cost of a thousand men. Oh, that could be worse. I'm gonna chase him in here. And another... Oh, only 400. Okay. My goodness, these guys are strong. Oops, sorry, Ulm. Yeah. Fair peace out Bohemia. Bohemia still has a billion wars going on. Uh, they're allied with Denmark. Part of the Empire, Austria will protect them. But I'm part of the Empire, I should be able to attack them. 
Austria would totally join me. I need to fabricate a Casas Belli on these idiots. Get a huge negative penalty with just about everybody in the HRE if I do that. But I really only want Wittenberg. Well, we got a free diplomat. Let's at least fabricate the claim and see what happens. Uh, covert, fabricate, Berg, go. Uh, so who are we second up to? It's been a little while since I've played. We are stayed. So we're, oh, are these guys our vassals? No, but they could be. So let's. Uh... Oh no, we don't have enough. Uh, yeah, that's why we're improving relations. We're gonna be, it's gonna be close. We need to get, uh, 45 more. We can get 32 more, and then we'll just give them a gift. That's no biggie. Uh, we're trying to improve relations with Trier. That's almost done. Improving relations with Baden. That's almost done. Still no electors, but, uh, you know, we're closer in score than we used to be. I still need to freaking occupy that. That's, uh. Oh, but, nope, Holstein's doing it for me. Good job, Holstein. You guys retreat up here. We are just barely making money because we have full stack of advisors. Down. All good. Um, what's this for? It's our courier controller. Uh, recall with that guy. Let's see, Austria. We are relatively capped on you. Oh, you know what? I could totally go to war with Bohemia. All right, we'll see about that. Uh, let's go ahead while we're at it and just improve relations with Poland for the time being. Poland, your rivals are Bohemia, Armenia, Order. How are you as far as military power goes? Nope. Next. Poland. Oh, we'll go by. So we're not doing half bad for ourselves. I mean, we are the number, what, six power in the world? We're above Austria right now, um, although their cap is much higher. Uh, Lithuania is doing good. Poland has about 17,000 men. Not terrible. Not good. Not really in a point where I'd want to ally with them. I'd rather get Lithuania back. Still don't know why they're mad at me. Every Dominica. Okay, topped, oh, well, that topped off with Poland, apparently. How are we doing with France? Rival, it was a war. Good. Concern ourselves with that later on. Hey, Bohemia. Now, if we were to take Wittenberg, Austria, Muscovy, and Bremen would all come in. All right, let's get our guys into position. And turn up our military maintenance. Probably need a couple more fleets, or some more boats soon. Do we have enough cap? We're capped out. Denmark. Um, so they're still at war with Silesia. So let me see that war, because I thought Austria joined in with that. Current wars. It says they would join, so let's see. So we're going to take Wittenberg, we're going to call Muscovy, Austria, and Bremen. Uh, Claire? Let's see. There's Bremen. Wow, why is our, why is our morale so low? Like, completely all the way down to the bottom low. That's strange. Right, we're going to wait here for a minute. Um, what we'll do is we will actually split off uh, just a cavalry, or a couple calves, uh, so we can be the first ones in there. You guys will get there on the 12th, and Austria will get there on the 9th, put a bunch of dicks. See how it goes. Oh, they're moving out. Grab our big group. Break off. 
One, two, three, four cannons go here. Cool. And the rest of you guys just attach a small siege here. Go to here. And we'll start going with this war. Now oh, we can light bulb. What can we light bulb? Military idea. Siege from land battles. Let's see how our tech is looking. Still four years ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. I like prestige. Cool. Let's recall our diplomats. Let Austria go ahead and fight that war for us. We don't really care. Siege, go here. Alright, that looks good. Alright, we want our Siege of Potsdam back. Siege, you guys go back up to Wittenberg. Our general, who I think has Siege. Yeah, he's siege of one. Oh, Bremen is now going to be formed instead of just Protestant. Oh, and another, another bubble? Oh, we lost, uh, we lost, damn, we lost six ships. That was a big war, though, I didn't even realize. Uh, we can get the next uh, tech cost decrease. I think we're ahead of time here, aren't we? Yep. Lots of ideas right now. Cool. Not super happy about the... the... Is that Bremen? Nice. Go Bremen. Yeah, we can't really make Denmark release anybody. Let's see here. Let's group up. We're going to create a new army. And move over a couple of infantry back this group and move them to here perfect cool should be groovy here and we'll just uh, move our general around to these other guys scientific revolution military tech cost goes down admin tech cost goes down diplo tech down I think we're probably gonna be in the market for diplo tech next so we'll take that we are losing a little bit of money, mostly because our freaking ships got beat up. I feel like... Wow, we lost six ships. We lost uh, two heavies. Here, and then four great ships. Going again. Ugh, looks like uh, Celestia is going to take a decent bit of land back from these guys. Good on them. We'll have to core Wittenberg, even though I have, like, no... Five. Alright, so I have, like, no admin points, which might come into be a problem later on, but... Should be no big deal. Our boats repair. Denmark is having issues. Peasants in Gotland. Man, England is a mess. These guys should be, should, Leinster should just appear with all of these at this point. Almost the entirety of Ireland. Scotland looks like it's going to get reborn. People outside of my apartment talking incredibly loudly in the middle of the night. So, that's cool. Austria is occupying Osberg. Oh, Denmark took over the war, huh? We got the war goal. So, actually, instead of, uh, You guys all go here, and then we'll go deal with Denmark a little bit more. We'll even cross there. Because there's only two guys, and if I can take their capital, that'll be super. Lithuania has tolerant society. Good. Capped out with Bremen. I don't know how many points we're going to need to... Oh, wow, that was easy. Does the stability lose legitimacy? Jesus. How much is this going up? Two a year. It's fine. I can't really afford to <clears throat> lose stability right now. I don't have the... Um, the Diplo... Or the um, admin points to deal with that. Wait, isn't there another little thing? No, it's just that one. Cool. 
No, maybe I can make them give me Slevsvig. Uh, Holstein does not have a claim on it. Annexed by Denmark. Stop being a core of Holstein. So they did own it at one point, so maybe I can take that and give it to Holstein. That'd be cool. <clears throat> I don't know how much aggressive expansion that would be, though. Uh, nope, none of those are happening. Yeah, we're getting very little in the uh, in the uh, whole Protestant Reformation thing. Put it out. Good, you three. Up here. You know, just go to Lubeck. Start bringing guys home. It's almost over. <sighs> so is Austria technically on my side or not? No. So they're probably going to make me give up this land because they suck. Poland is fabricating claims on Danzig. It's not, not really all that surprising. Go ahead and start moving just a little bit into Denmark territory here. They've got 10 guys. Setting up there, which could be a concern, but I think we'll be okay. In making progress on our sieges. They'll probably actually, you know, they very likely want to get out now. Me Wittenberg? Nope. Wow. You are losing. Uh, five for them holding their capital. So after we take their capital, we could get the peace or get what we want. Might be what we do. Want to have Austria peace out of this other war, and uh, then you know, be a jerk. Generally, that they're good at doing. Beating up on Denmark. All our boats have. Uh, refilled themselves. Take you guys. Six, right? Five. Almost done. All right. You meet up here. What's up? Patrol. Do back. Right, we're back to making money. That's good. And I don't know if, if we get enough, uh, I have to get a pretty decent chunk of war score here. If we get enough war score, we might be able to get that province and take their trade power. It would be very nice. Oh, alright, so there goes Austria piecing out. Alright, so we can get what we want at this point. Can't get any money from them. Or their trade power. Yeah, that's pretty far off. Alright, we'll just take this. Let's go. Okay, what about what about here as well? How close are we to that? Really close. Alright, I'm gonna take both of those. I think I should be able to give that to Holstein. Super nice. Alright. Pretty good. Alright, we're gonna get Oh, occupied by Bremen. I don't want that. At least now we can take some gold. Alright, so we'll get Wittenberg and we'll take gold. That seems fair. Everybody. Come back down to Lubeck, please. And let's see about core in this bad boy. Only 79, not too bad. That going and hopefully Austria will not ask for it. Bremen is... Man, everybody's staying Catholic in the HRE. Austria's just got too much authority. And yeah, literally, Bohemia is the only one that has gone Protestant. Doesn't look like a very big Protestant Reformation this game. I might have to stay Catholic. And that'd be no Prussia, which sucks. Oh, new boats. After I just built all those boats. Awesome. Cool. Um, all my men are here. Group them up. 
to disband you straight away because that was dumb. Um, and see, what do we have now? We've got Carricks and Caravels. Uh, so let's go ahead. We got a lot of money. Let's just build a whole huge round of Caravels. Oops, 10. There we go. And uh, once those are done, we'll just destroy 10 that we have, and that'll be a nice little upgrade for us. Oh, all of our diplomats are free. Let's uh, improve relations with Austria. Relations. Lithuania. Yeah, mine as well. So we can get them to unrival us. Uh, Russia has formed, and they love us. Go ahead and just top things off with them. We're pretty close to full. And Leinster and Scotland both came out. And France. Rival, same religion. Improve relations, good. Hungary's looking pretty good right now, though. Yeah, how they doing as far as military stuff is going? Uh, hungry, hunger, hungry. Wow, actually not that great. <laughs> uh, Lithuania, Mali, uh, Crimea. How does Crimea have so many men? Oh, it's not even that many, actually. It's a very stiff drop-off. Hungary's got 13,000. They've got no manpower and only a 17,000 limit. Poland's got a 25,000 limit. Back up to. Yeah, I don't know. Poland's level 10. Lithuania's level 9. <sighs> lame. So much lame. Wow, Wittenberg's got 15% revolt risk. And Memel and all them are up because we have, uh... They're a little bit overextended. Which increases... Uh, revolt risk. These guys are jerks. Back workshop. Sweden went for Tolerant Society. Need something to happen. We have very, very few Protestant counties. Memel, Warmia. Oh, we, actually, we got a few. I mean, Altmark, Potsdam, Wittenberg, Brandenburg, Capital went. Literally, if I could just get Danzig and Osterprosen to flip, I would flip immediately. And the three stability be damned. Fine. Uh, oh, I guess we could turn our uh, maintenance down a bit. Five gold. We are employing, yeah, three guys, so that's part of the reason why we're not making very much money. We'll make more. Uh, let's see. Speaking of trade, let's take a look. What feeds into Lubeck North Sea, uh, which maybe when we get another merchant, we'll be able to compete there a little bit. Amia now has a Regency Council. What's this? Alright. Recall, recall. Any of these disputed successions useful? Nope. Oh, wait, are you independent, Sweden? Are you independent? Because that's kind of awesome. Yep, you're rival with Denmark and Emia. Nice. I feel like I should probably make friends with uh, Sweden. Yeah, let's improve relations with Sweden. Might be able to do something with that. If France would take a take a alliance, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Too many great power allies, so do they. That's probably never going to happen. But it's not a bad idea to keep France on your good side. Okay. Let's let's see if they managed to grab one county. Would it be possible to vassalize Bohemia? No, it's more than 40 total base tax. Do they still have land down here? Yeah, they do. It's occupied by Ulm. The Ringian Nationalists. Oh, heavens. Go with the maintenance. You guys come down to Potsdam, please. Oh, sorry guys, a little stuffy. It's like allergy season hardcore right now, and I am what they call a sufferer. 
Get down there. Help our vassal who's an idiot. And war. Good. Go back here. Gather up these boats. Four. Six. Eight and ten. Right? Yep. You guys come to the southern Baltic. You guys stay here. And we're going to break off sparks. Right, select these barks, destroy these barks. I just do something stupid, I feel like I may have. Yep. Wait, no, wait. Weird. Oh no, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Scared myself there for a second. Alright, so the next eight will also go to this fleet. Off of Lithuania. Good. And um, we'll start making money again in a second. Hopefully. Next month ticks around. We'll see what it looks like. Positive. Go. Yep. Just barely, though. Jeez. There we go. Alright. So Lithuania has been topped off. They still hate us. That's fine. Whatever. Ottomans. Not take an alliance because we have too many great power allies. Uh, Castile inherited Naples as well. Holy crap. So Castile is one thing away from forming Spain. That is really dangerous. I am going to suck up to them immediately. That's scary. Portugal does hold uh, Galicia though. That could cause some issues between these two. Lose stability, lose more legitimacy. Jeez. Stability it is. That sucks. We'll boost overextension 10%. When's this going to be done? Next year. All right, we'll wait. Spend a little, a few less points on the uh, boosting the stability. Catholic Zealots, Cornish Nationals. Catholic Zealots. Man, England is a mess. They like they were roughed up early, but they looked like they were coming back, but apparently not. All right, so we need eight more light ships to get these done as soon as possible one two three go seven eight let's do ten and then we'll start replacing from the other ones as well man those are expensive that'll be good and then our income will go up a little bit after we finish coring uh wittenberg here and it is an accepted culture, so that'll be no big deal. 50 military power. No. Save. We need to get a next level of tech soon. Alright. So we've been on time for a few more minutes. Probably capped up here, aren't we? Yep. Uh, okay, so we're still pretty good on that guy. I guess we'll go after this dude. Uh compete with everybody who comes after him in a second, which I'm sure there will be plenty of them. Now this fleet is what? Seven and six galleys. Oh, what's this? Austria and their war against Swiss. Yeah, I see no reason to get involved, to not get involved in this one. Take a look at our enemies. And no one is anywhere near us, and that means we're not going to have to turn our maintenance back up. Very handy. Austria should have no problem with this. What's this war even over? Just conquest of Wallace. So there's more imperial authority for him. Still only on the first reform, though. I don't know how much authority he needs. He's got plenty enough uh, support. Let's see. New missions? No. France is being a dick. Oh, why in the hell would France have us rivaled? That seems like something the game is... Like, we, we don't share any any reason for us to be rivaled. They don't have Castile... Oh, they do have Castile rivaled. Like, okay, fine. I can kind of see it just because England is in such a bad shape. Scotland got 
Protestant zealots. Jeez. It's a mess up there. Alright, so... All you guys. Ten. Seven. Oh, gather up in Danzig. Wait for the last three to show up. Pomeranian nationalist. Jeez. For extensions, a jerk. Come to Newmark, please. Losing money. Uh, you. You. Th come here. I am building three more boats, aren't I? Yet. All right, you guys. I need you to break off all of your light ships. Stand them down. So you six, please go to Danzig. Get this up and running in just a minute. April, our guys have full morale. Let's go punch these rebels. Like we have a good we have a good general. That helps a lot. Minimize losses. There we go. Wiped them out. Lubeck, please. And back down to lower maintenance. Boats. So we're pulling a bunch of trade out of uh out of the baltic and i'd like to continue doing that and i will have to go i am going to go to war with denmark at some point in the future to uh take their trade power and maybe release norway or return cores to sweden or something paul what do you want Is that Ulm again yep you can totally have military access Okay, France is striving for a tolerant society. Boat is taking literally forever. Literally forever. We are one over on our force limit. About to be two over. I think we're going to get rid of a couple of these galleys. Unit, give me two galleys. Down. Go. Two galleys are good to have, but I need the trade power. Wittenberg is now cored, and we're now making even more money. Good. And this is even without my Baltic trade fleet. But we are still pushing, we're pushing almost five forward from the Baltic Sea into Lubeck. And with our trade boats, we're going to have, what? Go. See how that changes things. Oh, two whole gold more. Very nice. Our trade power in Lubeck is on top. That's good. Um, are we being embargoed by no one? That's good. Cool. Uh, Scotland has ended religious turmoil. That's good for them. Scotland is what? They should be Protestant. Let me see what they are. We have not had a province flip to Protestant in quite a while. It doesn't look like any of Europe is going to go. I'm just kind of holding off on converting until I see what the the prevailing winds look like. So we are at our cap. Um, what is this? Oh, so now we can embrace the counter-reformation if we want to, uh, which would give us more expensive ideas, more expensive uh, tech, but better missionaries. I don't, I'm not going to do that. So... Damaging. What else did I want to do? Something else I wanted to do. I cannot remember now. Oh yeah, how many how many crappy boats are in you guys? Bark, bark, bark. Got just three barks. Four, five, six, seven, eight barks. Eight barks left. So we need to build eight more caravels. We can afford it. Seven. Good. And we will modernize our trade fleet. This should be an okay idea. Although, there went, like, my entire stockpile of money. Have. Um, unfortunately, we're not... Oop, what's this? Prestige. Strength of air. Claim goes down by 20. We'll just lose the prestige. It's no big deal. Ugh. So, yeah. Things are... Oh, look at that. Cornwall is free. 
Wow. England. Not so good. Bless has got what kind of what kind of Protestant zealots. Completely occupied by Castile and Portugal. That'll be interesting to see what happens in the peace offer there. Uh, England's over in the New World a little bit. Not too much. Doesn't look like uh, I mean Portugal's got a little bit of that they're going south through Brazil. Doesn't look like Castile's got too much going on in the New World just yet, but they are going to be really powerful with all this. Catholic zealots in the papacy. What? Who are they fighting? <laughs> That's very strange. Oh, Castile will royal marry us, but they will not ally with us because we have too many great power allies. Mostly Russia and Austria. I feel like maybe dumping Austria at this point wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. But, uh, we'll see. There we... Eh, we're not that bad. Potentially. Yeah, I think that's something I'm worth. I'm willing to invest in. See if uh, Castillo will take that. I know we're not gonna be able to get an alliance, but we're much closer now. And if I lose anybody, um, I'm gonna keep Russia and Austria. Oh, Bremen, are you to the point where I can annex you yet? Or vassalize your ass? Yes, you are. I'll have a diplomat to do it in just a few minutes. That'll be a good get. What the hell? And I have a royal marriage. I have a royal marriage. I have an alliance. Are you somebody else's vassal? Oh, they're at war. Take my prestige. Jeez. Um... What is this war for? Uh, attacking Holland and the Renzikian conquest of Zealand. They're going after New Zealand. What? Brunswick's all the way up here. Weird. Bray with those. I'd have to declare war on Brunswick. And I do not have a Casas Belli. And I can't anyway. So. Sucks. Right, Austria is no longer allied with them. Oh god, they're gonna make them break their alliance with me. Guarantee it. Six. Here, please. Where are my boats? Boats, boats, boats. Stop what you're doing. Give me all of your barks. Bark, six barks, select. Down. Everybody over to here. Am I above my naval force limit again? I feel like probably. Guys, oopsie. Built too many caravels. Can't count. Did I miss something here? Are there more barks on here that I missed? Yes, there was one more. Oh, there's two more. Good. Bark, bark. This man. And we'll save up some money before we build our the new heavies. Control, do back again. Make me money. Come on. Goes up to five. Very good. Man, cannot stop patrolling Lubeck. Teutonic Nationalists, all the way to Fudge over there. Alright. Why is my revolt risk so freaking high right now? Still 5% everywhere. Why is that? How much in military points will it take? Alright, we are capped out on Brazil Castilian influence. We just need to lose... Fine. Uh, you guys, what do you want? Heretic tolerance. All right, so we will kill you. Oh yeah, I was waiting to boost stability. Board that thing. Boost stability up. Take this down. Oh, a whole percent. Awesome. 
Go attack Worm, yeah. Put these rebels down and then we'll end this episode. Oh, one of our cardinals changed. I got points for days, France. Hey, free prestige, that's good. We just lost a bunch. Unfortunately, you don't get any prestige for killing rebels. Now, on halt, you're still... You're a vassal of Hesse. Get our diplomat back from Sweden. Fair, we're still pretty buddy-buddy. Uh, Bavaria. You don't seem to hate me too bad. Let's uh, improve relations with them. That was about. Oh wow, my truce with Bohemia and Denmark already is going to be over next year. It might be nice to push up into Denmark and wreck their faces. Protestant zealots are strong. <clears throat> Someone's probably funding rebels in my territory. Come on. Go back to Lubeck, please. Let's try to make some money again. Yep. Francis, end of religious turmoil. We got some free manpower. That's groovy. And we can eyeball. Eyeball. Light bulb. Uh, leader maneuver, land maneuver is nice, but we are due for a new military tech upgrade. Not too far away either. Bringing in, what, six a month? Yeah, less than a year. Cool. Nice. Same exact missions. That was really crappy. Come on, give me some more Protestant. That's spreading around a little bit more. Still nothing major. England's having problems. Spain has literally no... No even inkling of Protestantism. Oh well. So Sweden's Protestant, England's. No one worth allying with has gone Protestant. Either. Some of the other electors would go Protestant. I would totally be in on that. I could piss off uh, Austria. No, that anyway. It's not even worth it. All right. I know I said I'd stop a second ago, but I'm gonna wait until I get the new military tech because I really want it. Do we need some more? We need more naval power. Uh, how? Uh, speaking of, let's um. Ideas. The next uh, our technology is at fourteen. But we got a long ways to go until our next idea is available. Upgrade to cogs. I don't even have any cogs. Neighbor bonus. We're catching up on Diplo now, which is good. We're getting uh, just a 5% neighbor bonus for um, military attack, which means we're not very behind, which is always a good thing. Oh, my general died. Oh. I am going to wait until I get my tech, and then I'll wait till I have another 50 points, and I'll get a general then. Worst case scenario, I'll just make my leader a, a dude. Uh, he is currently 46. He's 322, and we have a 461 coming up in the next round. That'll be very nice. Catch up on that Diplo tech. Make quite a bit more admin progress. I'll suck on the military, though. I might just drop our other two advisors and get a level 2 military advisor to try to make up the difference. Not many options there. Come on, let me get my military tech. Next month. February. Yo. Cool, so we're going to get um, new cannons, more combat with, more fire, more shock. All good. Uh, Switzerland seating Zurich. Ooh, wow. Zurich to Austria. And all treaties with Milan. Or at least Mantua. So, Switzerland is essentially... Their puts there. Well, where's Mantua, then? 
No, it's interesting though. Yeah, you know, Austria just spanked him. Wow, Castile, man. I don't. That's crazy. You rarely see that happen. Um, good. So what else? Before we go, new pope. Good. We got. <laughs> we've got three cardinals waiting. This is like we've just lucked into being complete curia controller for quite a while. Speaking of, I guess we can. With papal states. Three. I'm off as well. Keep an eye on Castile and see if at any point they're willing to take a alliance. They are allied with who? Poland, Portugal, and papal states. Yeah, so what I need them to do is not be allied with Poland anymore. Be allied with me instead. Uh, but yeah, so we're making uh, almost eight gold a month now. Positive stability is a big deal. Um, first tech goes, we'll take the next admin tech, I think. Take the next military idea. Close to a diplo tech as well, so that's all good. Cool, so we will uh, pause the game. We'll wrap it up here. Um, this is the state of the world as we know it now. Let's go out, 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 out. Brandenburg can be seen from space. That's pretty nice. Well, Whatever this is. Uh, but yeah, so it's good. We got our allies in Russia and in Austria and then hopefully soon in Castile. And then we'll uh, keep on dominating the world. I don't think we're going to be able to go uh, Protestant this game. So we're going to need to turn our attention to the south and get, uh, I think it's Brunswick, Leipzig. We need for Germany. Brunswick, Anhalt, Saxony, Leipzig, Thuring, Nuremberg. Saxony, Thuring, Leipzig, Brunswick, Anhalt, Nuremberg down here. The hardest one to get. Uh, so hopefully we can get all those, and that would be good. Wurzburg, a... Good. Wurzburg is not a... What should we call it? No, they're a stupid thing. Well, whatever. I can potentially attack these guys. Um... Uh, we don't have any guys. All right. So next time, if I watch the end of this video before I start the next one, we're gonna um, well, this video is long. We're gonna try to uh, suck up to Saxony and see if we can't vassalize them, and then potentially vassalize uh, Bavaria or Würzburg. It'll give us a chance to get down to here, and we'll take we'll, we'll attack Brunswick. Oh. Unholt. We'll the to... essay is weak only allied to the power but yeah we got options we could potentially form germany which might be cool all right guys so thanks for joining me and i'll see you next time